happy Thursday. I'm gonna do a little weekend of my life again, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. Maybe it will be what I eat in a day. We will see some sort of vlog action today. But I just finished journaling, as you saw, and I read Journey to the Heart. And now I'm gonna go run. It is my hit run day, and mm, this is gonna be fun. We'll, we'll do 10 minutes. We'll start with 10 minutes, and if I want to go to 20, then we'll do 20. But I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to make my lemon chlorophyll water. I'm going to make my coffee, and then we're going to get running. It's only 20 minutes max. I'm not wearing any makeup right now because I get super sweaty when I run. Her is clean, but it's been it dried really weird this week, so I'm going to wash it. I have an interview for Sorority Rush for Kappa beta gamma yeah i think so um at 11 30 i have class from 12 to 3 and i'm recording with leah tonight for our podcast episode on monday we'll be released on february 1st so we're doing an episode of first and we reached out to you guys for some stories we thought it would be kind of fun um it is really cold outside i think right now it's negative 11 feels like negative 17 so i will not be stepping outside but this guy's Besides them still being dark, look clear blue. Like it's kind of like this weird blue right now. I don't know. The moon is still up. That is the moon over there. But I'm gonna go and work out. Yeah, um, this is my outfit. I'm just wearing my Wonder Trains and my Rejuvenate bra. That is what up. And I'm obviously going to put on my Nike Infinity Reacts. I also want to take this moment to just thank Sports Research for sponsoring today's video. I will talk to you guys about them a little bit later in the video. But thank you, Sports Research, for sponsoring today's video. Can we just, I didn't froth any milk. Like look how foamy that is. So excited. Obviously always just espresso with some cashew milk. I just use this one. This cashew milk. Well, basic, not the best ingredients, but still does the job. I like her. And then some lemon chlorophyll water. I keep getting asked, how do you have coffee while you work out? I don't know. It's just been a vibe lately. I sip it in between. When I'm running, I don't really drink it in between runs. I'll drink this in between runs, like sprints. But in between reps and stuff, if I'm doing like just a weight training, like not hit, like I can drink coffee. I think I need to mix this. I'm gonna go run and just check in with you guys afterwards i'm on day four of doing like kayla's meal plan i'm feeling really good i feel really like content trying new recipes it's been really fun if you guys follow my stories you'll see like all the new recipes i've been trying last night i made like portobello mushrooms which i remembered like mushrooms don't sit that well with me so i was a bit sore afterwards but it was delicious in the moment um today i'm doing like a breakfast wrap, new blood, obviously a good salad. Tonight is pasta. Like we're having pasta. Like that's not off the limits. Just so you know, I'm not counting any calories, not counting any macros. Just trying new recipes. Just being aware of portions. Obviously not obsessing it over it. Not everything is portioned out. And um, yeah, still intuitive eating. If I'm hungry, eat. You know, good. Just really trying, trying to get my water in this week. As I spoke on the pod, it would have been like last week's episode, but my daily, my weekly intention was to drink more water, and so far I'm killing at it. Yesterday I almost lacked, but I chugged a nice hydro flask before bed, and I caught up. So I'm gonna make sure to drink enough today. But I'm gonna go run because I keep procrastinating. It's 7:35, and I've been up for an hour. <laughs> just made my morning blend the blender kept like leaking everywhere 
not fun when you have like chlorophyll. Also, my hair is crazy. I ended up running for 25 minutes, doing a minute of running, 45 seconds of like speed walking. And then I did like 12% incline, three miles per hour for around five minutes. And then I was just like walking at 2% incline, four miles per hour and they're 4.2 for I think like 25 30 minutes almost total um I was just writing a post for Instagram and then I was running to emails and I just like I was on my phone kind of distracted but why not move um super sweaty then I just like did um, a posture correction on the foam roller so you just lay it vertically and then you lie, lay on it like your spine vertically like parallel I guess to um, the foam roller with your feet off and then you open your arms to open up your chest it's a really good stretch and then I just stretched afterwards a little bit probably gonna stretch more later but I'm just gonna have this green smoothie go shower wash my hair look a little nicer for my interview at 11:30. maybe do some schoolwork before but yeah that's it's up and just having my morning blend. I have it every single morning. I'm out of baby cucumbers, so I just did banana, mango, spinach, kale, coconut water, ginger, cinnamon, spirulina, a date, and ice. Yeah, so I'm gonna have this and finish listening to my podcast. I'm listening to Gals on the Go with Brooke Michio and Danielle Carolyn, um, and they had Ellie Ziegler, Ziegler, I don't know. Ellie Zeiler. Zeiler. Um, she's the girl on TikTok. I don't know her too well, but I know that she like got a lot of hate for looking like Charlie. A lot of people like thought that like she was trying to be Charlie, um, like Charlie D'Amelio. So yeah, I'm listening to that episode. She's 16 and like she's already killing it. Like, oh my god. I'm really mature for her age. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this, go shower, and I'll touch in with you guys later. Guys, I'm like really overwhelmed right now i started my website on squarespace originally i was on shopify then i switched to squarespace and now i want to switch back to shopify because i'm going to be coming out with product and i'm looking to continue to do that and like shopify is just like the better option but here's my issue i hired a web designer to help with my squarespace website but she only really knows squarespace so I don't know what to do i can totally like build my website but i just really wanted to use a web designer and like it's a lot of money and like i'm a student and i don't make a substantial amount of income from like youtube website everything like i'm i haven't made money like really from my website so i know you have to invest in order to make money but it's just, like very overwhelming and I feel like no one really talks about this and like setting up a website and doing all that like it's a lot especially if you don't have like a whole team to do it for you but I love learning and I kind of want to take you guys on this journey with me I think it could be cool so I'm definitely gonna keep you guys in the loop um I might have to push back doing my merch just because I want to have it on a site for you guys to purchase but there's so many different things that like you don't think about that is the tea that's what's up and like the merch design is finalized like i have all that stuff it's just like the shipping and the site i have to figure out which is a lot but i have friends that know how to use shopify that can help me so it's just baby steps baby steps whenever you're feeling overwhelmed just like break it down and just take it piece by piece day by day and everything will work itself out no need to get in a spiral and i'm also trying to tell myself that right now but i'm gonna go make my breakfast and i will chat to you guys shortly i've never been more excited to eat this it's just a cinnamon raisin ezekiel english muffin with coconut oil hemp hearts cinnamon banana and honey it actually looks insane my hair is so curly wow okay but i'm really excited to eat that i was playing around with shopify i think i'm gonna switch to shopify and figure it out and yeah so i just think it'll be better in the long run invest more now thank yourself later I'm gonna go eat this. I have my interview at one at 11:30, so in like 20 minutes, and then class at 12. 
and it's sunny out but freezing like negative 19. guys i'm really overwhelmed i had class for three hours my professor makes like no sense and then i've been trying to figure out all this shopify stuff i had a meeting with someone who like a developer i guess you could call it um for it i did make super yummy lunch i had a really yummy salad um i'll pull up the story because i didn't show you guys but it was kale beets carrots celery zucchini sunflower seeds chicken olive oil apple cider vinegar lemon juice salt pepper and i did the chicken in the air fryer so let me show you what this is me my salad super colorful oh and did i say carrots carrots too was super yum guys my hair is super curly but i'm totally vibing i was asking kayla like what shampoo and conditioner she uses because i'm looking for a new one and she told me l'oreal dream links to help her hair grow so i'm kind of intrigued i'm mean, like sticking to like clean skincare and hair care but i think i'm open to trying that i don't know but guys I actually cannot get over how curly my hair is. I think quarantine fixed my hair for me. But I also need a purple shampoo because she's gotten very brunette. And I kind of miss the blonde. So that's what's new with me, guys. I'm going to sit here and figure out stuff for my website. Try to figure stuff out, you know. That's what's up. And then you make stories for brand deals. You love it. Hello, friends. I'm on FaceTime for the first time in like a month with Leah. Wave. Say hello. Oh, I didn't know. If I was <laughs> <It's tight. laughs> she forgets the password for our new recording platform. I don't know what you would call it to record interviews. So we're trying to figure that out because we're about to record the episode that you would have listened to or about to listen to for Morning Ray. Also, I really like the pigtails, Leah. Thank you. <laughs> See, I wish I could do that, but like my hair is like, I would literally look like a five year old. <laughs> I keep wearing them and I'm really unsure how I feel. It's just, it's just easy for like when your hair isn't the best, but like you want it to be down, but like it's on like day whatever, you know? I like it. I think it suits you. I think it's cute. It's been a vibe. Would you try like the high ones? So I tried, but my hair is so thick. That, that it hurt? I, no, I look like one of like the Spice Girls. <laughs> you know, like, I just like have that idea in my head of like a Spice Girl. What if you did like, you know how I do like half up? What if you did like half? And, oh, I could do that. I haven't tried that. Like next. my friend is like is like a micro influencer in fashion she has her a picture and she did it with like the bubble ponies <gasps> and it looks sick but like i actually can't get over how curly my hair has been drying because i've been wearing it straight since beginning of december basically like all the time and normally like when i do that my hair starts to like get killed yeah. and it doesn't curl like this <laughs> But holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's been. Oh, here we go. I got it. Yay. Well, anyways, so vlog. We're going to record an episode for Morning Ray. I should probably turn the TV off. I've been watching Bling Empire. Is it good? Mm hmm. I sent it to Lady Beefit. KK. KK, KK, KK. Are we going to do the segments together? Yeah, we can. Okay. okay. I didn't plan anything <laughs> for them. I was told that I was, I'm too scripted. I like could see that, but I feel like everything changed after New Year's. But wasn't the comment like after that? I don't remember when it's from because that's like on the US. So this is the new recording setup with my second screen. <laughs> We're all ready. We are trying to go for a less scripted vibe. So this is our script. Here's Leah. You can't hear her though because she's in my ears. 
here is where we're recording we are trying out clean feed so we'll report back we think it sounds good but we haven't recorded a whole episode yet i hope that this episode goes well and i'm excited good night vlog we recorded for two hours when we said we were gonna do 30 minutes <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna have fun, my amazing editor. Yes, I wish this would like zoom in better. I'm excited. I think it's gonna sound good. It's gonna sound amazing. Okay, good night, fam. Good night, Leah. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. It is currently 7.23 a.m. I'm about to make it coffee. I'm actually wanting to try collagen in my coffee again. So I found this marine collagen. I prefer to do the marine one over like collagen peptides, which comes from cows, I believe. But I actually found this collagen it's a beauty complex one and it's marine collagen this one's unflavored it also has hyaluronic acid vitamin c biotin and yeah it's wild caught marine collagen it just digests better but i actually want to thank sports research for being the sponsor of today's video they did send this over to me but i have been looking for a new collagen to try i really like this collagen this one's unflavored they also have a watermelon yuzu flavor and a strawberry lemonade which you can make like really fun mocktails you can also put them in smoothies but i'm gonna show you how i put it in my coffee so the reason why i want to integrate collagen back into my diet is that my hair i've been trying to grow it and my hairdresser actually told me to have collagen so what is better than incorporating to my coffee i have it every single morning i'll probably switch between my coffee and my smoothies but today i want to try it in my coffee this is the unflavored one and i'm just going to use like my little frother thing to make sure that it blends so i'm just going to use this we're just going to put this into my coffee this morning and it helps with your skin, your hair, your nails. It's super great. So thank you Sports Research for sponsoring today's video. And I'm excited to show you guys how I use this. I'm just gonna take my frother and just froth it up so it's all super mixed and it makes it so creamy and you don't even taste it because it's unflavored you can even add my coconut oil to this and make it like a bulletproof coffee while my coffee was being made i also made my lemon chlorophyll water which i have every morning so just my two go-to beverages with a little switch today. I added some collagen. Whenever I've taken collagen in the past, I've noticed a big difference in my hair and skin. So definitely check out Sports Research. I'll have a code on the screen that you can use to get some money off and a link down below as always and it will be valid for the week. I'm gonna go work out. I have my coffee and my lemon water and today is abs from the sweat app. So it's abs week nine of power and I'm super excited. I'll show you guys some of the workout actually. Maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow because I showed you guys abs last week. Yeah, I'll show you my workout tomorrow. Um, yeah, super, super excited to work out and sweat. I just finished working out. My hair is kind of crazy. Sorry if you hear the Roomba going, but I'm about to make my morning blend. And I'm just listening to the bonus episode of what we said. So. I'm just gonna make my morning blend and I'll show you guys me making it. I don't have baby cucumbers. I bought an English cucumber yesterday, so not as convenient, but I'll cut it up and put it in the blender. I'm super excited and loving having my morning blend.
chia pudding yesterday, but I think I put too much liquid because it's still like pretty liquidy, but it's okay. So I did a half a tablespoon of hemp hearts on top, a ta round tablespoon of like coconut yogurt, and then blueberries, cinnamon, and then it's just two tablespoons of chia seeds with half a cup of cashew milk and some vanilla. And I'm gonna go have this and prepare for my interview, well, podcast recording, interview, whatever you wanna call it, with Alexa Barber. She was on at five, six tomorrow. I'm super excited to chat with her. She seems like a pretty awesome gal. Um, so I'm gonna have that. And I've been doing some brand content for sponsored deals. And yeah, that's what's up with life. I'm sitting and watching Rachel and it's kind of like I have a mini TV at my desk. <laughs> Guys, you're going to be really proud of me. I'm getting better at being like very decisive with my selects. So I'm picking stuff for a deal with Princess Polly. Yeah, so I was choosing between two sweaters. We're going to go with this one. Now it's figuring out the size, I think. Okay, small, medium is sold out, so... It's gonna be medium large. I really like this color. She's cute. This is what's in my cart so far. You guys will get a haul of that soon, so hopefully. We love everything, I'm sure well, but in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna be recording with Alexis. I'm super excited and yeah. I just made a big salad for lunch. It's just kale, spinach, cucumber, cherry tomatoes. Oh, I forgot the pumpkin seeds. We're gonna go back down. Chicken and lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper. And yeah, that's what's in here. Forgot the pumpkin seeds to my salad. Okay, we're back. I got the pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna watch Jube. I like having it on a second screen it's fun it's like a little tv yeah so i recorded with alexis leah played the intro for the podcast for me and i just got an email from kappa beta gamma but i received a bid I'm gonna be a bid or whatever for the sorority that's so fun guys it could be a sister but anyways i'm gonna eat this watch some youtube respond to some emails and then i have a group call at 1 30 and it's 12 47. So we're in my bathroom, it is 5.30 and I just ran to Shoppers, which is like our drugstore here in Canada. Guys, my hair is actually so frizzy, I can't. But anyways, I got a new shampoo and conditioner after asking Kayla, be well with Kayla, guys, I keep mentioning her, she is my BFF. Asking her what shampoo and conditioner she uses. So I just got these ones by L'Oreal, they're the Dream Links, um, it's her long damaged hair. Um, but she said it helped her hair grow. It has castor oil in it, so I'm assuming that's what is up. Um, there's also like a sleek one, which was very long, frizzy hair, which I could have also gone for, but I really wanted the castor oil. So I'm gonna try this. It is not like sulfate free and all that, but I'm kind of like desperate at this point, so we're gonna try that. And then I also got a purple shampoo because. My hair is looking a little brassy and I want it to be a little brighter blonder because we did tone it down but I kind of want to tone it back up so I'm going to use both of these in the shower today. Right now in my shower, you guys always ask me what I use for my hair. She's a little messy but I just have the drunk elephant ones that I got in the summer. I mean like they're like pretty basic. I wouldn't buy them again but I've been using this since like May. I really like this. And this one is okay. This one was supposed to also help grow your hair, but I didn't really use that much to be honest. But I really like this. I feel like I would like the conditioner. And then I've been doing a hair mask every single time I wash my hair and I was using this one. But I'm just gonna remove these for now and just switch it up. I feel like it's good to switch up your shampoos and conditioners, you know. So I feel like your hair gets used to them, you feel? You guys feel me, so I'm gonna wash my hair and then we're gonna go light the candles for Shabbat. It's Friday and make dinner and then I'll probably head downtown afterwards for the night. So 
Yeah, um, and I got a bid, so we have a bid event tomorrow at 11 a.m. on Zoom, and I have to wear white. It's a little bit later now. I washed and blew out my hair. I will say my hair does feel a little bit dry, but I also used purple shampoo beforehand, so I had to put a bit more oil and such afterwards. I'm sure I'm gonna have to figure out, like, my new product mix of things for afterwards, but I'm just wearing my French press aligns and the Colorado sweater. And I'm about to head downtown tomorrow. I have bid day at 11. I'll be back early in the morning and I'll probably work out, but I'm going to head down and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. I'm driving home. It is so sunny outside. It is 9 12 a.m. I'm driving home. I have bid day at 11. Don't know if I'm gonna work out before. It depends what time I get home. I'm debating if I want to stop and get like Starbucks or something. Um, I haven't eaten yet. I'm just drinking my water. I really like the shampoo. My hair feels good. Wow, the mood that sun and blue skies puts me in wow okay so anyways i'm gonna drive home and that will be take me like 30 minutes and then we'll see where we're at probably i'll just make a coffee at home i don't need to spend money on a coffee i was debating walking to get a coffee but it is freaking cold it is like negative three feels like negative 100 and I have to wait for pedestrians to cross and this is awkward because I'm filming. That was so awkward. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I was waiting to turn right and there was people walking and there was a guy waiting to cross like the other way but obviously he couldn't go because the light was green and he fully saw my camera but YOLO. I'll never see him again. So we're Gucci, we're Gucci fam. You guys have any tips for strengthening and growing out and hydrating curly hair like what can i do what can this just do to stop it from breaking once it gets like the nape of my neck like it just gets so much thinner i don't understand like i just my hair used to grow so long and like get decently thick for me but now like the past year or so down the rabbit hole Anyways, I'm gonna go because the camera's gonna slide and I wanna focus on driving and this clip is getting long, but I'll talk to you guys soon. I just got home and I'm gonna go quickly work out before a bit event. I'm gonna make coffee before, obviously, it is 9.47, so I'm gonna do like a quick little 35 minute workout and then call it a day. But this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my Lily bod leggings and my Lulu Align tank. And then of course, I'm gonna put on my Nike Infinity Reacts. But I will chat to you guys later. So I'm about to have my bid day event. I'm just wearing my Align tank. We have to wear white. So I'll chat to you guys after. I do a little makeup. Hello. So I just finished the bid day event. It was so much fun. I'm really happy that I decided to rush and join Kappa Beta Gamma. Obviously, I'm not initiated yet, but... We have a big little week coming up and I'll know like my big in like two weeks, I think. But it is 12.35 and I'm starving. So I'm gonna go make breakfast. Um, yeah, breakfast, brunch. I'm gonna have like an omelet and avocado toast. So excited. I'm about to head back downtown. I've been busy picking selects for brand deals that I have coming up. Low key, super stressful, but I'm very grateful. My bag is packed there and I'm bringing some frozen pizzas to make for dinner and yeah that's what's up I'm just wearing my what we said merch and my lily bod leggings and I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog <laughs> guys happy sunday i just got home a bit ago like a few hours ago and i just walked on the treadmill and i got sent the sweet sweat like band and 
like the gel and like normally like, I'm not like a huge like fan of these things but I was like intrigued I was really intrigued I saw my friend McKenna using it Mac Health on Instagram and so I decided to try it when I was walking sorry just came up the stairs so out of breath but guys I'm like actually soaked like holy okay I'll show you the band Obviously, I need to wipe this down, but like that's all my sweat. I think it's also a bit of the product too because it's like wet-ish, but holy, okay. Um, I just wanted to try it out for fun. It's not for a means of like weight loss or weight train, like I was a waist trainer. I just like was so curious. Um, and it's totally okay to have like these curiosities. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It is currently 5.04 p.m. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks again for Sports Research for sponsoring this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps support my channel. And I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you soon.